Hello Lola's. <laughs> I'm back here with another video. Um, I have baby Sasha here with me and she of course today I decided not to put her on a hat. Um, I probably will show you guys her with this one little hat on eventually. But today I was I was giving her her bottle and I was like, you know what? I'm not she like she she's she's a funny she's a funny eater. Like she doesn't you know, most babies like love, love, love to she's just very funny. She's kinda dozed off a little bit. Yeah. But yeah, so um I was like, you know what? I really like her with just no no hair right now. But you know, I know that that's not the you know the the most common thing for us in the dog community. We really, really love love the hair thing. But I don't know. I think um, she's just pretty, even without hair. I just really really love her so much, which is the craziest thing. Um, even you know something about just off subject outside of dolls. I actually the other morning my hair is so. Um, I'm going to say nappy, but you guys might refer to it as coarse, but I'm going to say it's so nappy right now because I normally relax my hair, get a perm in it, straight for it to be straightened. But I don't like doing my hair all the time. I'm not good at doing hair. Styling hair is just not my thing. And I literally thought about consider cutting my hair down to about that short to the new girl and then just going natural from there. And I'm still considering it. But I'm just like wondering how I'm going to get through. And I know natural hair, using, you know, wearing your natural hair is more work than actually having relaxed hair. But I'm just wondering if I could do it. But I really have to make sure it work on my skin and my face first because it's going to draw a lot of attention to your face. So um, anyway, that's just a thought. And I'm thinking like, you know, short hair, don't care type type thing I'm a very like I don't know carefree person I just I just like to go like I'm not a prissy girl and stuff like that and that's I guess that's why my babies you guys notice I dress my babies very basic now I was supposed to be putting her on pants <laughs> and I just couldn't I didn't want to I don't be wanting to cover them up when I really love a baby painting I just don't be wanting to cover them up it was something I was going to talk to you guys about, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Like, I, I forgot what I was going to talk to you guys about. Oh, I was going to tell you guys how the hobby has really, really changed me. I don't know if these pants, mm, that's really kind of off color. It does, but it don't. These might do better. I think these will do better up under this. Of course, the socks won't, the bows will be unneeded. I probably would have to change our socks. But yeah, I think this color looks better up against that versus the, this is more of a purpley color. And I don't necessarily like it with the purpley color because the colors in this have more pink. It does have a purple, but a deeper purple. Anyway, so yeah, so um, I was just thinking about how this hobby has a really, really um changed a lot of things about me good and bad let me start with the the bad the bad part the bad part is the bad and the good kind of coincide together so let me explain when i first got into this hobby just fyi the first baby that i ever bought ever and i always forget this the very first baby that i bought was a little mini silicone baby partial silicone baby by lord not lord lorna miller sands and that baby was about 50 bucks on ebay and you know it was a little cutesy little thing but i didn't really read the description i guess i read it but the pictures kind of made the baby look bigger but it actually said the amount of inches in there. So I think it was like, I don't know, like 13, 12 inches or something like that. But I'm thinking like, you know, 12 inches can look very different depending on like the width 
and the length. So, oh God, my battery's going dead, so I gotta make this fast. But anyway, so I thought it was gonna be bigger. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be bigger, but it was more petite, little. So I, it came in like this little shoe box type box. I just basically put it in there and put it at the top of my closet. I just moved into this house. Um, and I put that in the closet and just left it. I, I Then after that, I started to bid on, um, uh, um, and the silicone was not the same as the, it was more like a dragon skin felt like almost. But anyway, I bid it on Walter by Laura Tudor Ross. I got outbid it and I was like, oh man. So I think it was like a hundred and something dollars, less than $200. Because at the time I was just getting a hobby. I saw dolls that I really, really love. Um, the first dolls that I really fell in love with was like some from like Cuddle Me Soft and um, this other lady that passed away in the community. Natasha or something like that I don't know but I saw their babies on eBay and I really and on you know and then I started looking on Facebook groups and stuff and I saw their, their work and I was in love with it but I couldn't afford it so I bid it on Walter and when I bid it on Walter I got outbid it but I got a second chance offer and Walter was painted by Connie Wally Prince and um Paint and painted and rooted and he was like he was nice but he was like very monotone um he was a a but he was just like you know just so smooth finish almost like an airbrush finish like his sculpting was m more real the painting was more almost like commercialized so really nice the rooting was amazing and the hair was amazing he had delta dawn hair i never forget anyway my point is is that i thought I knew that knew that it wasn't the top of the line in the community, but I knew, but I was excited because it was a lot for me. And so, um, I was like, I've never spent over, I didn't want to spend over $350 for a doll. And of course that number went up over time, over time, 350, then 500, no more than 700. But the thing is before that, I would go into the store and want a pair of jeans. And if the jeans were like, $19.99 or $24.99. I was like, oh, hell no, I ain't paying that. Like, I would always want to get $9.99 jeans, um, jeans for $12. Don't look at me like that. Um, they used to be pretty decent. I mean, you know, I would go to like stores like Fashion Sense, Simply Fashions, you know, the little cheapy stores. And I would find what I need, my pants or whatever. I didn't have a lot of jeans because I was not going to pay top dollar. But yeah, I got into this hobby. I said I was going to buy that one doll. And then I found um, London. London was on eBay and I won London. And London, again, was probably in the $200 range. But she was like heavily modeled. She was like a whole different paint style. I was so in love. Anyway, so the hobby kind of got me out of being cheap with myself because before I would never spend money on myself. I would only spend money on my kids and the house and bills. Um, and this was the only thing that got me to spending money and I would spend on myself. The problem is, the, the bad part on that is, is that I got to a point where I was spending too much money in this hobby. And it was just like constantly me saying, oh, I deserve this. Oh, I deserve this. Next thing you know, I deserve myself thousand dollars worth of dolls. Um, so that's the bad thing. But the good thing about it is this hobby is so expensive. It started making your ass start trying to figure out ways to make money. Like you be like, what can I do? I never forget. I was like, what can I do, you know, within the hobby that I could, you know, make money? Can I sell pacifiers? Can I sell passive clips? Something. I got to do something. This shit's high, you know? And, um, I just really like, it just really like made me, you know, want to figure out something. Then I would watch, like I was, I was good friends with this one particular artist and um we would just we would talk and she would be working she would be i would be trying to encourage her and motivate her to you know sell your babies get your babies out there go and sell your babies because she was selling but it was like she would have like 30 babies in her house and she'd be like i don't know i just don't feel like putting them up. i really like this one and she'll have like partially done babies all in her house 
and I would be like, girl, you need to sell them, baby. Like, girl, if I had that skill, I would be just selling, like, boom, boom, boom. Like, I would never be broke. That's what I was thinking in my head. Like, I really, like, thought, you know, God, she had the keys to the kingdom, basically. And so, but out of frustration with the hobby of having to wait on customs, basically feeling like, and don't y'all come for me because some of y'all probably be like, that's how your ass be acting. But I felt like I had to beg people to make babies for me. Like, oh, please, I really want a baby by you. Can you please, please, please? And that just got on my last nerve. Now, so I just, so here me go. You know, brokenness will make you do it. I think that's how a lot of inventions came into place. I mean, somebody had to be sitting there going, oh my gosh, you know, you know, stirring this cake up with my hand all day. I'm tired of these muscles. And then here come a blender because they're like, mm -mm, this gotta be, it's gotta be an easier way. So anyway, so I think, so that pushed me into like trying it. But when I first tried it, I was like, I looked at that baby, I was like, mm, <laughs> she she okay. But it was like, I was proud of myself. But I was like, girl, you so chalky and ashy. Girl, she looked like Pookie on New Jack City with them white lips. Look like, baby, she was thirsty for all over her body was thirsting for moisture. I was like, oh my God, like literally look like she would just set a fire because she was just so ashy. Anyway, so I was like, this, okay, I'm a, I, I might do that, but I still got to buy it because I can't. That ain't no baby that I want to have in my collection. But basically, over time, you just really get... I, I really began to try to try to do different things. Another thing is, like... And then, I've, I, you know, eventually I, I, I went back to it. I stopped for, like, six months to a year, and I went back to it and tried again. And then, you know, keep going. And, um... But, basically, the good thing about the... Like I said, the hobby, it has made me step out into trying things that I normally wouldn't do. Even, like, I've never been on a plane, and I said I would never fly, but the doll show was in Denver, Colorado, and I was like, hell, I can't drive there. And, I, wait, let's see, did that come first before? Yeah, so I was like, okay, I gotta go to this doll show i really gotta go to this doll show i my my dude paid he was like i'll pay for your travel expenses or whatever he was like you just need to go to that show and i literally decided i think i got really stressed out about something in my life child who knows probably him and he was like baby you just need to go on that trip and just enjoy yourself probably was getting rid of me for a side chick i don't know child i don't know but i got on i i got on that plane he took me like a field trip showed me how to read the he said the main thing is reading reading is fundamental and i was like oh lord i can't hardly see he showed me how to read the, the screens and stuff and then i got on and he showed me where I would load and how I would do da 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 da. And I said, okay. So then he dropped me off to the airport. You know, fast forward the week later. I said, okay, baby, here you go. Call me if you need me. I got on that flight in Atlanta. Nobody told me you had to ride this damn roller coaster train thing. You let you hold the thing and it's zooming all across. So I just thought I could walk it because I had ample enough time. Baby, I was walking so so fast but when i got there i went up there so i don't know anyway long story short my connector i missed it i was there in time but literally she was like it's all you know i was like do i need to do anything she was like no they say no they're not boarded the plane my dumb ass still sitting there and i done missed it now i call him i'm all upset i'm crying i'm like I done missed my flight. I'm oh my god. I'm like so he's like, baby, calm down. Go tell them. Blah 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 blah. You need to take the next one. Blah 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 blah. He said, he he tells me how to do it, but he was like, don't worry. I said, but I got the. It was something. I was the first day I came in was a banquet or something that I was supposed to go to, and I'm not gonna be there in time and all this and stuff. He was like, listen, baby, if I have to send a jet. No, he didn't. He didn't say that. I'm, you know, exaggerating, girl. <laughs> Big bang. Uh, no, but anyway, he did. He was like, if I have to pay for a whole nother flight, you will make it to the doll show. Don't worry. The guy was real cute, and 
I started like, you know, doing a cute cry and he felt sorry for me. Next thing you know, he done put me on something. Child, probably, I thought I probably thought I was special. probably something he do on the regular for everybody, child. But I'm going to let it be because I was cute. So, um, by the time I reached the doll show, my first meeting with Claritella and some of the other people, my eyes was like bloodshot red. I had a migraine out this world. I was literally to the point of wanting to throw up everything. Like, I was so stressed out. But I did it. So the doll show allowed me to experience flying for the first time. Another thing is I, I had a doll meetup with someone in the community, a private collector. We were going to meet up or whatever. I never drove past the other side of town. I barely even crossed the bridge, okay? I literally drove out of town to meet with this private collector all by myself. And then I turned around and even to get even bolder, I've always wanted to go to Atlanta, but never been because, you know, ATL, everybody be like ATL, you know, ATL, okay, they don't sing it like that, but I actually got in my car, you know, I think I took my daughter with me, my two daughters, my um, Gabby and Tabitha. And got in my car and we drove those six hours or five hours or whatever it was. And oh my gosh, I was so proud of myself. I didn't even tell nobody I was going other than, you know, my daughter. And when I got there, I was to, like, my dude was like, where you at? I'm like, I'm in Atlanta. He was like, you in what? I was like, yeah, I'm in Atlanta. He was like, you know, give me your hotel name, number, blah, blah, blah. You know, he like, he always wanted to make sure he said, just in case, I know where you're at. Okay, so I give him all the information. But baby, when I tell you, listen, nobody told me that um, ATL got mountains. So that was a whole nother story all in itself. But I was trying to get to um, Ash and um, some other people in the community. Like everybody, like, you know, they were doing a dolly meetup and stuff. And I was trying to get to them. And behind them went up on this, um, this hill was so high. Oh my gosh. Listen, I literally was about, I was having an asthma attack. I thought we, I was going to die. But I had my kids in the car. I was like, I can't kill them too. I was on that hill and like your, your car is up like this. And, and you know, we're, we're pretty flat here. The car was literally up like this in the air. Like I felt like the thing was either going to flip or it was just going to just fall back down or something. I was like, please light change, please. I was sweating. Girl, you know how when you got to poop real bad and you can't go and you're trying to hold it and you start sweating your hands, sweating your palms, sweat. That's how it was. Like, I was just sweating. Like, my face starts sweating. My daughter was like, mama, it's going to be okay. It's okay. It's okay. And I was like, I was like, breathe. <laughs> breathe. Listen, I told them, listen, oh, right, next time we, when we went to meet somewhere else, I said, is it a big hill? <laughs> <laughs> they was like, it's kind of a little hill you have to go, but it's not too bad. Da, 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 da. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, listen, I tried to make sure I stay in the area where I knew there were no hills at while I was there, but I went to the malls and all that stuff. So this dog community has, and then another thing, I'm not a very, I know people may think so, I'm not a social butterfly like that. Like, I am one of those people that like to be just invisible and hide, you know, in the crowd. Like, I'm that girl in the room that just want to blend into the wall. I don't want to be like, hey, here's me. But, you know, I have, I mean, I am once I, once I warm up and I, like, click with you and vibe and I know you got, like, I get used to you and calm down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, I'm just this chick, just how I am on here. But at first, I really like the layout and just observe and look. But anyway... Baby, I went I went to all the malls. I hit the malls up. I, I did the most. Then I forgot I got there and had I forgot my makeup. Anyway, but um so I tried MAC was for the first time, which is now I've I've went to I've stopped. I've been I used to wear Mary Kay for all my life. And then that one experience of me having to buy makeup and my daughter saying, Get Mac. It won't break you out and I use Mac. I haven't went to anything since then. So anyway, but yeah, so the dog community has taught me. I've traveled. I ended up going to Utah. So I've been on the plane twice. Um, but yeah, I've I've traveled. I've gotten planes. I've learned how to do a new craft. 
Um, I actually have put together more freaking cradle swings, car seats, all kinds of crap that I never would have done. There's so many things that I've done little things you know trying to figure out how to do stuff make stuff be creative just because of the hobby and then I use it and apply it in other things outside of you know just the doll world because there was times where I actually my daughter for her birthday one morning she woke up and she's like my middle daughter she said mommy I want to go to uh sea world or something I'm like girl like you don't just wake up and say, I want to go to SeaWorld. She was like, I'll pay for it, da 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 and all this. And anyway, we, so I said, okay, I'll order the tickets. So we, I said, if we can figure it out. So I said, not today, but we'll have to do it early in the morning because we have to get up early in the morning. I literally got up and I, me, her, and Gabby, I don't think the other kids went with us that time. Um... And we literally, we got up and we went to see where I wouldn't have never drove to Orlando by myself. And you know how many times I've drove to Orlando because of the doll show and stuff. So I, you know, I've just, this, this, this hobby has done some great things for me. But, you know, like I said, it has been some bad things and I have had to take a step back and, you know, reevaluate, you know, too much of anything is never good. So, um... Yeah, so it's, it's, I don't know if it's, you've had some things, some defining moments where things have changed you or not. Also, you know, I had a doll collection all the way up until I had my children. I had about maybe 12 dolls still um, from my childhood and everybody was saying I was being selfish and I should let my kids play with the dolls. And as I did that, they eventually slowly, slowly got left places, daycare, grandma house, auntie house. And before you know it, I don't have not one doll from my childhood, which was devastating for me. And so, you know, like I said, I've always wanted to have these lifelike dolls. I wish I could know who that lady was, but when we went to her house she literally had all these she had a whole nursery had doll stage around the house i told y'all the story before and i said to my grandmother gripping her hand i remember it like it was yesterday standing in the doorway of her nursery and i said mama when i grow up i want to have dolls like this and i said this is how i want my my house to be and she said You'll have it one day. She said, I'm going to look for you a realistic doll. And she did. She used to look for me a realistic doll. But I feel like I'm living that dream. Like, it's not a big dream. You know, people dream of marriages and cars. And child, I ain't want no husband. Child, just give me the baby and keep it moving, honey. No. <laughs> a bad example. Bad example. God, girls, if you're listening, marriage first. <laughs> anyway. um, But seriously, um... I, I, that was one of my dreams. Of course, I wanted to be a doctor when I grew up and then it was either a doctor or an attorney, but I became a mother and a wife. <laughs> I don't think that's equivalent to either one of them. Guys, hold on to your dreams. Let go of the men thing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, anyway, that is just my thing. But I am just so happy that I found this hobby and I found some really cool people. And guys, really quick, I want to show you Maggie. I actually got this little chair, speaking of chairs, but I didn't have to put this together. It's a little high chair type thingy, and I think my grandbaby needs one now um, since I haven't seen it. But I wanted to get a little chair, but actually it's for Cody. But I thought Cody, Maggie, and all of them could use this chair. Let me see if I can show it to you. Well, you probably can't see her a whole lot, but she's sitting in that little chair. I'll have to show you guys that at another time. But, yeah... Um, so yeah, so I would love to know if you, if this hobby has, you know, changed things for you or it's just been the same, it's just blended in with the rest of your life, it's just a normal, you know, hobby, nothing big, nothing major for you. Um, I, I would love to hear if, you know, I, I think that it's changed me a lot and, um, I don't know, I just, I love it. I, it gives me something to do it gives me something to focus on 
you know, when times get rough, things go on, stressful, you know, people sick, people dying, all this stuff. I kind of just be able to, and, and I, some people might say this is not good, but for me, I'm able to zone out for whatever amount of time that I spend making a video or painting or whatever. And that's all I know that I'm in a whole nother world. Oh, oh, child, that scared me. Lord Jesus. Okay, so I got to go. It's literally 5.30 in the morning. So I got to go. So we'll talk later. See you later. Oh, I never put the child on the pants, but don't worry about it. Catch me in uh, some um, Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on blog. Uh, my blog is MissRenneSmithBabies.com. I'm on Instagram. And I do have a Facebook group called Miss Randy Smith Doll Chat Club. But you'll see pictures of her there. I'll take her some pictures. And put her on some pans, maybe. Maybe. Later.